Welcome friends. Today we are going to discuss about alkyl lithium, that is RLI. Yesterday we have discussed about the preparation of this material, and today we will check its property. Mainly we will discuss it as a nucleophile today, and next day uh, I shall discuss it as a base. So before going to details, I want to give you very short introduction about this butyl lithium. This butyl lithium is made of carbon and lithium. Lithium has electronegativity around 1 and carbon is around 2.2. Consequently, this is delta negative, this is delta positive. Actually, this is ion, this is considered to be an ionic compound R minus and Li plus. And due to the small size of lithium uh, and proper matching of this orbital because both are 2p2p, so little amount of covalent character is introduced into the molecule. Okay, so before going to details, before going to do any reaction, some uh, facts should be kept in mind. What are the facts? Facts, this material is pyrophoric. Pyrophoric means in presence of atmospheric moisture catches fire. Generally all the butyl lithium are not, but for example tertiary butyl lithium which are highly active or electron rich, this material is pyrophoric. Other material could be, but they need to be handled with care. Second point, that every reaction you see, generally it is written, for example, needed one equivalent, but it is rated, written as 1.2 equivalent or 1.3 equivalent. Generally, why this? Because this butyl lithium is highly moisture sensitive. So what happened? Moisture could be remaining the solvent, Moisture could be trapped into the solvent or into the air where we are performing the reaction. Okay? Okay. So, this solvent moisture could react with uh, this butyl lithium and destroy some butyl lithium. Why? Butyl lithium is basic as well as nucleophilic and water contains one active proton. This is delta plus. So, this can act as an acid for butyl lithium reagent. Okay? This can act as an acid. And butyl lithium could act as base. So consequently, acid plus base, and ulti which ultimately results in this RH plus lithium hydroxide. So in this way, some amount of lithium reagent are wasted. To avoid and to avoid that wasted, it is generally recommended to use anhydrous solvent. Anhydrous solvent means, anhydrous means moisture has been withdrawn from the solvent. Okay. How gen generally this is done? This technique is uh, generally done using metallic sodium, calcium hydride, molecular sieves and other dehydrating agent, for example, calcium uh, chloride, P2O5, etc. But this sodium, calcium chloride, calcium hydride, these are very famous for drying reagent. Because what happens? Sodium reacts with moisture to form, form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So in this way, water is eliminated. Because sodium reacts, sodium has a very affinity and reacts strongly with water. What happens in case of calcium? Calcium hydroxide reacts with water to form calcium, calcium oxide, calcium hydride reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen. So in this way, solvents are converted to their normal form to the anhydrous form for this reaction. And this why this 1.2 to 1.3 equivalent taken? Because if normal solvent is used or atmospheric moisture is used, at atmospheric condition is used, then some, it, some lithium is quenched because this acid base reaction is the fastest reaction. That's why this reaction happened first. And secondly, what reaction we are planned and for that we have mixed reagent that will not be complete. That's why it's a general estimation that taking slight excess of butyl lithium will complete the reaction. And it is essential to quench after the reaction this butyl lithium properly, otherwise it may catch some bad accidents. Okay, okay. 
So this is the main reason why butyl lithium is taken in excess. So now we will discuss this butyl lithium as an nucleophile. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about the reactions of butyl lithium. Before going to reaction, you should uh, remember once again that butyl lithium is soluble in many non-polar solvents such as hexane, pentane, even could be ether or THF. The ether THF is very low polar, but hexane, pentane is completely non-polar solvent. So this is, and mainly we will discuss about n-butyl lithium because if we consider T-butyl lithium versus N-butyl lithium, you can consider that this contains charge on a primary carbon and this contains charge on a secondary carbon. And nucleophilicity also depends on the bulkness of the nucleophile group. That's why tertiary butyl is more bulky. This is more bulky. That's why it will uh, not be efficient in nucleophilic attack rather than it will act as a strong base. Second point is that the negative charge is on the 3 degree carbon. Okay, so stabilization is also very very less. That's why it is one of the strongest base but in case of this n-butyl lithium the negative charge is on a primary carbon which results in little uh, which results in Less basicity compared to this and that's consequently it is more nucleophilic, nucleophilic in nature. Okay, so keeping this fact in mind, we will start reaction. We will check the reaction. First, we will discuss about the reaction with moisture. As I told earlier, when it reacts with moisture, it produces RH as well as LiOH. I have presented this thing in this way because it will help you to remember properly how, which type of reagents react with butyl lithium and why. Okay. Second, I, as I told this above is a nucleophile. So what will happen? It will react as electrophilic reagent for example methyl iodide and what will produce? This alkyl group will attack on this methyl and iodide will leave and it will result in NER. Instead of methyl iodide we can take suppose ethyl bromide or benzyl tosylate OTS tosylate such type of thing because sorry I made a mistake this O, tos, o tosylate should be benzyl OTS ok so nucleophile attack here and in this way it will result in alkane ok ok Third point. So we have seen this, this. Now we will discuss about this acetylene moiety. What will happen? This acetylene moiety first react, react because yesterday in, uh, at the end of my video I have discussed that this carbon ion stability if we compare sp3 versus sp2 versus sp. P character increases means the negative charge remain closer to the nucleus and negative charge is closer to the positively charged nucleus which means that charge will be stabilized and consequently the carbon ion will be relatively stabilized. So this sp is more stable than this sp2 than this sp3. So this is the factor guiding this uh, reaction to happen as the produced carbon ion is more stable than this parent butyl lithium. So what will happen? This proton will be abstracted due to little higher acidity compared to butyl lithium. So product will be C minus. Okay. Okay. So it is another. So actually it remains as a lithium bond. So this is delta. This is my delta minus delta plus. Secondly. This is also an another lithi lithiation reagent. So it can act as another as a nucleophile or it can react with moisture like that and if, if it reacts with moisture it will produce acetylene again. If it reacts with methyl iodide it will produce that substituted alkyl. Why? This carbon, this negative charge will attack here and this iodide will leave. Okay, as iodide is a good lithium group. Second, so if it reacts with carbon dioxide, actually carbon dioxide is wrote here, but carbon dioxide actually looks like this. Okay, 
So carbon dioxide looks like a carbonyl compound, dicarbonyl compound. So according to the resonating structure, it should be like minus and plus. Okay, so this indicates that this carbon is highly electron deficient. So this alkyl thing which is electron rich that can attack here and what will happen if it attacks here this alkyl group then it will produce R C double bond O O minus and lithium will, as, will remain as plus okay and upon hydrolysis with water means H3O plus produces R C double bond O O why we always write H3O plus? Because any acid, for example, HCl, H2SO4, if it dissociates in water, it produces H plus and corresponding anion, and that H plus reacts with water molecule and gets stabilized to form H3O plus. Okay, so actually, this is the base, this is the acid, not that parent to an acid in aqueous medium. That's why you always write H3 plus and it will produce carboxylic acid. And this carbon is came from this carbon dioxide. Okay. Okay. So then what will happen if this reacts with carbon dioxide? Means it little bit awkward that uh, it produces just now carbon dioxide. Now it will react with carbon dioxide. Yes, it will react with carbon dioxide. But follow this. This is little tricky. For example, this is strongly basic and this is strongly acidic okay so the first reaction will be acid based reaction and keep it in mind acid based reactions are the fastest reaction are the fastest reaction okay so then it will happen again so what will be the product this and o minus lithium plus now will the reaction proceed yes it will proceed why because this alkyl lithium is very strong nucleophile and what will happen this that's why this alkyl lithium this r minus will attack again this center and produce r c o minus o minus li here also li and here should be if we take this r prime it will be r prime r so upon hydrolysis what will it produce okay I'll write this thing here. So it will upon hydrolysis means H3O plus it will produce R C O H O H R prime R O H. Okay, this is a dihydroxy. We know that dihydroxy group on the same carbonyl is not stable. What happens ultimately? It results in dehydration. How? This oxygen pushes his lone pair and this is go. First time this water goes, what produces? R prime CO and actually this is under acidic condition. So it can remain as OH2 plus. So water will leave and it will produce this R and it will release its proton to form carbon. So this is a method for the conversion of carboxylic acid into carbonyl compound okay so this now how this reaction is happening this reaction is happening as one to transfer means lithium first coordinates this center and corresponding attached alkyl group is attached attached to this center in this way this reaction happens okay and the second point is why dihydroxy on a same carbon is not stable because if we consider the keto dicarbon carbonyl group, this is more stable, more stable compared to this because of the bond energy. The bond energy of C double bond O is higher than the addition of these two single bond. That is the driving, that is the main reason for this uh, carbonyl group to remain in C double bond O instead of hydrated to get dihydroxy. Okay, okay. So we have seen this part. So carbon dioxide. Now, if we give this reagent carbon dioxide, what will happen? As just some time before, you came to know that this will be attached to carbon dioxide and it will produce carboxylic acid. So, write this, it's easier. R C 
सी डबल वन सी सी ओ टू माइनस एंड लिथियम प्लस अपन वर्क अप मींस एच थ्री ओ प्लस ए टू विल अल्टीमेटली प्रोड्यूस सी ओ टू एच ओके सो इन दिस वे दिस एसिटिलिन कूड बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू एसिटिलिन अल्कोक्सिलिक एसिड रिमेम्बर इट ओके नेक्स्ट पॉइंट लेट्स सी अबाउट दिस इपोक्साइड दिस इपोक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल्स आर नथिंग बट द डिहाइड्रेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ वन टू डाइवर जस्ट सम टाइम बिफोर आई टोल्ड अबाउट वन वन डाइवर का डाइहाइड्रोक्सी ऑन द सेम कार्बन बट हियर डाइहाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप ऑन अ डिफरेंट कार्बन कीप द डिफरेंस इन माइंड ओके सो इफ इट रिलीजेस वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ वाटर व्हाट इट प्रोड्यूसेस इट प्रोड्यूसेस इपोक्साइड ओके एंड हियर यू कैन सी दिस ऑक्सीजन इज अटैच्ड टू कार्बन and the electronegativity difference of oxygen carbon is more that's why oxygen will remain delta minus this carbon will remain delta plus okay so this center this carbon center of this carbon center is electron deficient means electrophilic now the question is where the epoxide will attack so where the epoxide will attack for example let's take about but One to epoxy butane. Okay, okay. Now this center is electron deficient. This center is electron deficient. Which is more electron deficient? This center is more electron deficient. Why this center is more electron deficient? Because this carbon is attached with two hydrogen. This is one hydrogen. So, but it is attached with the ethyl group. which can push electron density here to neutralize the electron deficiency of this carbon center consequently what will happen charge density is less here positive charge density negative charge density is more here so one point that nucleophile will attack here first second second point is that this center this center is less bulky this less bulky compared to this center that's why it is easier for nucleophile to attack here okay this is the two reason for epoxide mm, nucleophilic attack on the epoxide molecule at this sir, time you remember one point that for a epoxide epoxide opening under basic condition at this center okay means nucleophile will attack here and it will be the product But under acidic condition, if we open, then the product will be reverse. OH R N. Sorry, I made mistake. N U O H. Why? Because this is nucleophilic attack opening. That's why this center. But in acidic condition, it follows a carbocation pathway. That's why this. Okay. So let's come to our point. Then it will attack to this, and it will produce R O H. Let's consider it's R prime. It will be easier. Okay. So first it will be O L I. After work up with H three O plus, it will produce the corresponding alcohol. Okay. Okay. Now let's discuss this example here. This L I group. This is delta plus electrophilic center, and bromide is delta minus, and it's another part. It's a good leaving group. Keep in mind that bromide, chloride, iodide, they are leaving group. On and in this series, bromide and iodide is a very good leaving group. And if we check the leaving capability in between chloride, bromide, and iodide, iodide is best leaving group of in this series. Then bromide, then chloride. okay and if we put fluoride then also fluoride so keep this thing in mind it could be given as a question to mention the proper order why because iodide is bigger size so one unit charge could be distributed over a wide area so electron electron repulsion is less because of the additional charge which came as i minus because when this br will leave it will leave as a br minus similarly if i was there it will leave as a i minus so actually anion leaves That's why the stable, the leaving group capability depends on the stability of that anion. 
so that's why this br minus is most leaves and that's this iodide and similarly bromide intermediate size lesser compared to iodide but bigger compared to chloride this thing happens that's why this uh, trend is formed so what will happen so this r will attack here okay and what will produce this reaction will produce r okay oh okay. so let's complicate the problem little bit for example instead of simple lithium let's take this lithium why are you want to take i explain if we take this lithium reagent and react this with this beer what will happen this is minus this is minus this is plus in nature so this will attack here it will go what will be the product sulfur sulfur this 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 is the nucleophilic center then double bond then this okay okay so if this material is hydrolyzed in presence of mercury 2 plus the actually this is a thioacetal acetal means if oxen is there that should be called an acetal and this is thioacetal because sulfur is there another thing we know oxygen is hard that's why acetal could be broken in presence of acid but thioacetal is a soft that's why it will not be broken in presence of acid means proton it will be um, hydrolyzed in presence of soft acid that is mercury that's why what will happen after this it will produce this carbon it means it will produce a carbon okay okay now look at the nature of the molecule this is alpha this is beta this is gamma beta gamma double bond of a carbonyl this is you keep please keep this thing in mind this could be a strategy to prepare such type of functionalization molecule why because alpha beta is very easy if you check about this alpha beta this is very easy by aldol condensation you can get very easily but getting this thing is difficult okay and second point how this could be prepared this could be prepared for example this could be prepared from formaldehyde and this 1 2 3 Di one three di thiol, okay, and it will be produced. And how it stabilized? This negative charge is stabilized through the conjugation of the vacant d orbital available of sulfur. Okay, if it is in p orbital, so it delocalizes its electron density to this sulfur's vacant d orbital. This two sulfur. That's how. it is stabilized but if you have been taken oxygen theoretically just imagine that this is oxygen this is and theoretically if we can prepare this by any how it will not be stabilized with oxygen why because this is 2p this is 2p another oxygen don't have energetically accessible vacant d orbital please keep this statement in mind energetically accessible vacant d orbital every this oxygen also at d orbital but energetically very higher so it could not be participated into the bond formation that's why this electron could not be delocalized and second point it is true that oxygen has minus i effect but that is not sufficient to stabilize this second point this p orbital is filled so what will happen there will be a repulsion between the p orbital of oxygen versus this and ultimately this will be unstable that's why this is prepared but this could not be prepared easy okay okay so this is up to this we have done so right now we will uh, explain about the last reaction why why i kept that example later because that's a famous name reaction shapiro reaction okay that is the uniqueness of this reaction that's why i kept it at the last so right now we will explain this example so what are we going to do r li plus r nh 
sorry, it should not be N because Flatogen's vacancy, OTS. Just sometimes before I have told about OTS. What is OTS? Actually, it is meant that it's a very good living group. OTS means this group. Toluene sulfonate. What? Toluene means toluene. This is benzene. Sulfonate means sulfonic acid. This is the OTS group. And why it's a good living group? Because when it leaves, it forms this anion. That's why, and this anion is stabilized by resonance. Okay, so what could be the structure? O again this methyl. Secondly, it could have similar conjugation with this also to produce an another structure. So three equivalent canonical structure. That's why this anion is very stable and it's a very good living group. Okay, that's why this trocyte is taken. So now we will see what happens. R A line. This is minus. This is plus. So first reaction I told that acid base reactions are the fastest. And for acid you may need a polar hydride hydrogen. If you check check this NH, it's polar. This is delta minus. This is delta. So First, it will react with this, and what will produce? This will produce R. Sorry, N N minus O T S. Okay. Okay. So how this group is stabilized? First of all, it is an electronegative atom. That is nitrogen compared to carbon. So negative charge. Went on a more electronegative atom, so relatively more stable. First point. Second point, it could be, it could have a resonance. How? This can come here, and this bond can come here. Okay, so what will be the structure? N, N double bond, OTS. Okay. This resonance possible in this way. This could be stabilized. So, what happens? Now, I told this. It has also also two proton. Actually, I am pointing out one. What will happen? It will also be abstracted by this lithium reagent. R minus. Okay. So, what will be the product? R double par prime. N. And. N minus O T S. Okay. Okay. So now we have to compare why this reaction happens. Because previously it was an alkyl group. Right now it is alpha carbon of the carbon. It actually it's imine. So derivative of carbon. So it is here. What happens? This is stabilized by resonance. How? This negative charge can come here and it can come here. So you may ask one question that two negative charge on adjacent carbon will it be stable? Of course not. It will not be stable. It will react. But I showed that there is a possibility of delocalization of charge. This is also sp3 carbon, and this is also sp3 carbon. What is the driving force that it will form? This is the driving force that it will form. Okay. And actually, what happens? This is not stable. That's why what happens? It donates its electron pair here, and this nitrogen donates to this bond, and in this way it leaves. Understand? Take time. Slowly understand. This lone pair, this form a part double bond with this. Consequently, this electron pair goes and forms a double bond. So, at this this bond broken, an OTS leaves because OTS is a very good leaving group. So what happened when OTS leave? It produces a double prime, double bond, R prime. Okay. Okay. Now this is in double bond in, and this nitrogen will remain intact because nitrogen didn't participate in any process, and OTS left. OTS is an anion, 
So previously this molecule has two unit charge, right? Now one unit left. So one unit will remain here. And another thing. Now what will happen? It will come here and it will be produced. So minus R plus nitrogen means N triple bond. Now you can ask the question why this goes? First of all, it's a gas, it reacts and goes outside the reaction. Second, it's a very stable molecule, this N2 N2, very less polar, very stable. And keep one thing information, this is so stable that activation of this nitrogen was difficult. That's why it was very difficult to produce nitrogen plus hydrogen to ammonia. And this ammonia could be used as a fertilizer and it reacts with carbon dioxide to form urea. You all know that urea is a very famous fertilizer. But preparation of urea chemically was difficult because this molecule is so stable, so stable that react, reacting this with hydrogen was very difficult and scientists never have achieved this. Okay. Okay. So right now we have minus and since in our system we have lithium. So what will be the product? That will be this lithium. Means what we have prepared actually from this material, we have prepared vinyl lithium derivative. Okay. Okay. And this vinyl lithium, like previously I have told about this alkenyl lithium, this is sp3 lithium. Sorry, sp lithium. This is sp2 lithium. So it can also do the similar type reaction like I have explained here previously about alkenyl lithium. So, if we give any electrophile, it will result in addition of the electrophile. What is the uniqueness or beauty of this? Addition of electrophile, if you consider a double bond, if you add one electrophile, electrophile will add and ultimately it will result in a sp3, whole sp3 system. But here electrophile is attached to sp2, it is, that is the uniqueness of this reaction. Okay, second, is it, though although it is not part of this study, then still I am giving you one example, is it possible to this sp2 vinyl lithium in another way? Yes, possible, from alkyl lithium also. For example, if we take bromide, react with this, and this produces this lithium lithium. How? First, this attack here. This attack on the bromide, actually in this mechanism is not well known, it is predicted that it attacks on a bromide and bromide it produces R, Br and consequently negative charge come here and which attach to the lithium to form this one and in medium what is this RBr plus this lithium. This RBr reacts instantly with another molecule of RLi to produce RR. I want to tell you that in my last video, I finished here that alkyl, alkyl iodide plus RLI will produce alkyl lithium, alkyl lithium plus RI, but it will not be stable. I made a mistake. It will not be stable. It will further react with this RLI to form this alkane. And that's why for this reagent, two equivalent of alkyl lithium repeat, need required. I repeat, need to put in mind, two equivalent of alkyl lithium is required. And ultimately, this is produced. So, this is the end of today's uh, discussion. Next today, we will discuss lithium, uh, lithium, alkyl lithium as a base and as well as reagent for directed ortholithiation. So thank you everyone for listening my talk. If you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel, Chemistry, the Mystery of Molecules. Thank you. Let's see you in my next video.